What's up, everybody? This is Kyle Hines, and welcome to the first episode of this new edition of The Quarter with Kyle Hines. Today, we have a very special guest, my teammate, my guy, one of the most energetic players of the EuroLeague, one of the most young up and coming players of the EuroLeague, my guy, Zach, today. Zach, what's up, man? How's everything? Everything's good, man. It's good to be here and be with you. We're just handling business, trying to take it day by day with this definitely. crazy pandemic in the world. So. Definitely, man. Definitely, definitely, man. So, so start off with, I mean, you, you made the, the recent signing, as myself, you know, to, to Milan, Italy, um, to play with Olympio Milan. So, you know, talk about your your, uh, your journey so far. How, how you like the Milan so far? Uh, it's, it's different from all the other places that I've been. Um, I've been to different places every year, so it's different personalities, different people, but I, I feel that we all came here to do something special, um, and that's why we all signed that dotted line, and we all came here to come together and achieve special things, and that's what we're just doing day by day, just trying to stay stay at work. So what was the process like for you, um, you know, when you got the call from Coach Messina, um, you know, to say that, you know, that, that they wanted to wanted you to join Olympia Milano, like, like myself, um, you know, what was kind of your thought process and what was the main reason why you decided to join the team? Uh, really just my thought process was just speaking with my family, speaking with my mentor, mm-hmm. uh, really just to come together and achieve something special, uh, putting everybody, everybody putting their ego aside, and giving up things individually to try to come together and achieve something great for, uh, for all of us. And I think that we have a good chance to do that, and that's what we're working towards every day here. Now, speaking of, of Coach Messina, um, you know, he's a legendary coach, and you, early in your career, you played for some legendary coaches with Sauteras and, and, and Coach Black. Um, you know, talk about, you know, what, you know, what Coach Messina has, you know, meant to you, you know, so far in this early part of the season. I mean, I, know, I already know, um, you know, to me, you know, he's, he's been a great mentor, a great leader, and a great, you know, teacher. Um, you know, even me, you know, being, you know, kind of, you know, a veteran in this game, um, I'm still learning from him every day. So, you know, talk about, you know, how he how he's been, you know, your your, your relationship with him. Well, it's I mean, it's different for me just being a young guy on this team with a lot of veterans. So I just try to just uh, step up to a high standard and I know I'm going to mm-hmm. be held accountable more than anybody else. So I just try to just step up to the challenge every day and just keep coming every day and just keep learning every day from everybody that's here in general. Well, uh, he's he's definitely helping me and teaching me a lot as we go a lot, as we keep on going on through our process. And all those coaches are different. They are legendary, but they are completely different people with dif- different philosophies. So it's just different. And you just try to just take what you can and just learn and just go with the process. Now, we mentioned a little bit earlier about the, you know, the COVID, you know, the difficulties that, you know, we've been going through and, and especially this region, Milan. And the Lombardi region has been, you know, going through, uh, you know, with the with being one of the most, you know, difficult regions to deal with COVID. Um, you know, us being here, you know, the past, you know, few months and kind of seeing it, seeing the city kind of rebuild. Um, you know, what type of, you know, what, what type of feeling have you gotten from the city, from the people in the city, um, you know, during this time? And, and, and talk about, you know, some of your favorite places to go to. I know that you get a chance to get out a little bit and, and see the city. So, you know, during the off time, during the free day, where you where you, uh, you know, where are you going at? Um, in Milan. Uh, man, uh, the people here are just great people in general. The club has been great. They've been helping us adjust a lot during this crazy time right now with uh, the pandemic, me coming and with everyone and their families and different things like that. So the club has been great. And they've been supportive. Uh, just in general, the city is good. I haven't been able to see a whole lot of it because of COVID restrictions, but like just some of the areas to be able to go eat and um, to be able to just look at some of the architecture here in Milan Mm -hmm. and and Italy in general, just like that's very interesting to me and see like art gallery or something like that, just to see something different every day, try to do something different every free day that you get, you know, so it's good to be able to explore and learn more every day. So. How how's your Italian? You picking up to Palare Italiano? Uh, I mean, I'm learning like probably like two. My goal is to just learn two words a day, so that's what I try to do. Like every every little word, every little word I can learn, I just try to learn like two words a day. 
It's Go definitely ahead. helpful though. Speak so, speak so for the people. Speak so. Speak so. Uh, yeah. Uh, como stai? Uh, my man, uh, Rondé. Hey. You know. See, 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 see. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, so, like, now, what, what have been? You know, obviously, we talked about COVID, but what have been some of like the most difficult moments? Um, you know, during this transfer period, or not even during this transfer period, just in general. You know, like you said, you've been, you know, since you've been in the Euro League, you've been on, you know, three different teams, three different situations. So, you know, what's some of the difficult moments that you've kind of had to deal with, you know, coming from, you know, one team to another team or one city to another city or one country to another country? Um, It's really just uh, just adjusting and adapting. That's the main thing is just adjusting to the situation you're in and adapting. And my thing is just trying to grow, trying to continue to grow and get better every day as a player and, so I'm trying to learn from every little thing that I can every day, every yeah. little thing that I hear or something like that. I just try to be a sponge and just learn and just try to just keep on adjusting and adapting and growing through the process every day. So now has there been there was a lot of transfers this year, I mean, including me and you, um, you yeah. know, Alcon, Nicolaitis, you know. A bunch of different guys. Um, was there one that kind of surprised you, or one that you think that was like you know you looked on Twitter and you was like, oh man, like I didn't, I didn't expect that. Uh I mean, I, just surprising. I'll probably say Kalathis just in general because he's been there mm-hmm. at the Nikos for so long. But I mean, he's went to a great situation, you know, and they have a great team there. They have great coach, obviously, with Sars and. So, but I would just say that one. But everyone else, I mean, it was just, it's a crazy time right now. So I expected madness to happen with the cra- the way that 2020 has been going and all the different things that's been going on. I expected some madness to go on. So, yeah, for sure. Now, we, we talked about 2020 and, you know, one of the, I guess, most difficult parts for all of us and also the fans out there is not being able to have them at the arena. And, you know, previously in your year league stops, you played in Lepiakos, who has one of the biggest fan crowds. Um, Zalgaris, you know, has one of the you know, biggest fan, you know, fan supports. And even here in Milan. So, you know, what, is it, what has it been like, you know, especially for yourself? You're somebody that feeds off the, the, the energy of the crowd. Um, you know, what has it been like, you know, to, to play without the fans? And, and can you give a message to the, to the Milan fans out there and to the year league fans out there, um, you know, about, you know, you know, how you feel and, you know, how we all miss them? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean... Definitely just be an energy player. You definitely can feed off that energy of the crowd a, a lot of times. And it's definitely different without having the fans in. But the most important thing is the safety and just making sure everyone's safe at home. So I hope that everyone's just following the precautionary measures that's being put in place and just following the rules and masking up. And we miss you guys. And we hope that we are able to get you guys back in arenas and healthy soon and up to speed but we're just trying to as as a euro league together we're trying to just go out there and give our all in every game and win every game so and my last question this is kind of a you know personal question we talked about it before but you know you're the youngest guy on the team you're 26 um you know i'm a veteran you know i'm the old kind of the old guy on the team um where do you see yourself in 10 years you know, if, if you could, you know, talk to your 10-year-old self, um, you know, where do you see yourself, you know, 10 years down the line of your career? 10 years? So, that mean, I'll be 36. Yeah. And, woo, 36, I'll probably, and praying to God, I just keep on staying healthy. Now I'll probably be going on my, one of, my last year, or if not one of my last years. I mean, it's guys that's playing until they're 40. So with technology, with things that's getting better as far as taking care of your body, I just hope that I can give up, give my all and continue to stay healthy and just play the game that I love and give back and help people every day. So yeah, That's perfect, man. Well, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, bro, taking time. Appreciate um, you. I appreciate the fans. Um, you know, Stay tuned for our next episode, the second episode of the Quarter with Kyle Hines. We'll talk to you later. Peace. Yes, sir. Peace.